they're off. Little Miss Macho had a bit of an awkward start. Into the final furlong. My wife knows everything. The wife doesn't know. My wife knows everything. More than the wife doesn't know. We're talking about the state of New Jersey racing and our purse structure is really what drives our revenue stream here. We are one of the few states, if not the only state in the country that doesn't offer some sort of alternative gaming to their fans on site. There's a lot of racing between New York and Maryland, Pennsylvania and Delaware. Those states all have alternative gaming revenue. We have gotten into a situation where racing is not necessarily viewed as as positive a contribution as it is. Equine industry in New Jersey does contribute 13,000 jobs and it preserves 176,000 acres of farmland. We often talk about each racehorse being an individual job creator because each racehorse needs a groom and a, a jockey and a, a hot walker and a blacksmith and a feed supplier, a trainer and assistant trainer. It needs a veterinarian, needs an insurance company to insure it. Uh, then it needs this operation here at Monmouth Park that provides so many jobs so that that horse can go out and uh, become a revenue source for the whole industry. Senator Lesniak has recognized that, and he's been a voice that has carried that message in an effort to get the kind of revenue here in New Jersey that other states uh, are lucky enough to have through the gaming industries in those states. Senator Lesniak has been a proponent in trying to initiate alternative gaming here as well as the casinos, such as sports betting. He's done a terrific job. Anyone who wants to preserve racing and the green spaces in this state should vote for Senator Lesniak as a Democratic candidate for governor on June 6th.